I'm Mrs. Usman Halima, also from the Department of Geology and Mining, National State University, Kefi. Um, we'll be taking you GEM 221, which is uh, invertebrate um, paleontology. Uh, invertebrate paleontology, the word paleontology we all know is the study of um, fossils. By the so study of life, but in the fossil form, that's what we actually study in geology. And as the name implies, invertebrate simply means the study of these fossils without a backbone. This is the content for the presentation of this week. We'll be treating phylum Atropoda, introduction, identification, and then characteristics of this um, phylum. Atropods, or the phylum Atropoda, is simply derived from two Greek words, atron, meaning joints, and pulse, meaning foot, that is fossils with jointed appendages, or foot. Members of this phylum constitute one of the largest phylum in the animal kingdom. An example of these forms are seen in lobster, crumbs, spider, mites, insects, centipedes, and millipedes. These are still living forms or living uh, examples of this arthropod. But we do study the ancient one, which we'll see, we'll study very much later to belong to either the um, trilobita, an example, the trilobite or the onychophora. Those are some of the classes, the extinct form of this uh, phylum atropoda, the animals representing this phylum. Several types of these uh, forms or this group of fossil live in the aquatic and then some live, still live on land. Some groups have even developed adaptive features for flight, such as mostly the insect which will be seen in a phylum hexapoda or the phyla, the hexapods, which constitute maybe the flies, the mosquitoes, the spiders, and butterflies. This is just a percentage distribution of the animal kingdom, which is to prove one of the most uh, large kingdom in the division of uh, the animal kingdom. That is the characteristic, the distinguishing feature of arthropods is the presence of jointed skeletal coverage composed of chitin. We already, as earlier stated, one of the obvious characteristics of this arthropod from the name, as it implies jointed appendages, it has an external skeleton again, which unlike the other forms of animals or maybe the humans, the skeletal is endo inside, but in this form of the arthropod, we have it outside. That is, and it's made up of a hard covering composed of a chemical substance known as the chitin, a protein bond um, chem, um, material. The non-living skeleton secreted the underlying epidermis, which correspond to the skin of other animals we've earlier mentioned. Arthropods like cilia, cilia which is used for locomotion or movement from one place to another. Even in the larva stages, probably because of the presence of this exoskeleton. The body is triploblastic, segmented, and the segments bear paired appendages. Triploblastic simply means the body is divided into three parts, segmented, which is divided into the head, thorax, and the abdomen. Some groups of this arthropod can be said to uh, have bodies that are segmented into the head, and then the head and the thorax is fused together, known as the cephalothorax, and then you have the abdomen. They are bilaterally symmetrical. That means you can divide them into two equal half, each of which is a mirror image of the other. What is composed of this half is also present in the other and they exhibit organ system level of organization. The body is divided into head, thorax, and abdomen. We've earlier stated that the body has jointed appendages, which helps in locomotion. Jointed appendages in the sense that We've said it has appendages, and then the fourth blood point bilaterally symmetrical. Each side of the body, when divided into two equal half, half appendages, one is directly opposite of the other. There are some that have up to like four, six, eight appendages, like the spider, 
And then we have fun with numerous appendages, something uh, group uh, animals like uh, fossils like uh, species like the millipedes and then the centipedes. Those ones they have numerous, each attached to a body, a segment of the body. The body cavity is filled with blood, which is called the hemocyl, and it is white in color. Respiration is through general body surface or by gills in the aquatic forms, e.g., the crabs, the shrimps, and so on and so forth. Through trachea or book lungs in terrestrial forms, such as the cockroaches, and so on and so forth. Characteristic of this phylum continuation, this is just saying a simple arrangement of the segments in three types of arthropods. The first one being the centipede, A. B is an, in the insect. The centipede, you have the head, the body, and then the tail. The insects also, the head, thorax, and then the abdomen. And then in the crayfish, an example which I, I earlier stated, the head and the body, the head and the thorax is fused together to make up, to give us what we refer to as the cephalothorax. And then we have the abdomen. In summary, this concludes a, a class, though, is a summary a, to complement probably the uh, physical contact. Uh, I, I, at this junction, we would like to say, yes, there are suggestions, there are books that students should uh, um, complement in reading and then with the physical uh, contact. The assignment is given below, or if there are any more adjustment or update, we'll update the slides and we we'll send back accordingly. Thank you for listening.